Hey everybody, today we're going to look at how to install Wasabi Wallet 2.0 on macOS and how to create your first wallet. The first thing we're going to do is open up Finder and we've already downloaded the software package and verified its authenticity with the signature. So we're going to install it like we would any other piece of software. So I'm just going to double click and then drag that icon over to the applications folder. And then I'm going to close out of these windows. And now I should be able to search for Wasabi Wallet. And a prompt will come up and say, uh, Wasabi Wallet is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And click open. And this is the welcome screen you see when you first launch Wasabi Wallet 2.0. You're told how it's a non-custodial wallet, meaning only you're in control of the Bitcoin. It helps with anonymity and it's open source. So now let's get started using Wasabi Wallet. First, you're going to be prompted to add a wallet. And you can do this a few different ways, but we're just going to select create a new wallet. Then you're going to be asked to name your wallet. So I'm just going to name mine Wallet Test 1. Then you'll be given your recovery words. Now these words can be used to recreate your entire wallet. And without them, there's no way to recover your Bitcoin. So it's extremely important to write these 12 words down in the order they're given and make backups. And you're only going to be given these words once. So be very careful when recording them. Also note that you never want a backup of these 12 words to be on a device that's connected to the internet. It would make your Bitcoin vulnerable to being hacked. Yes, that means you should avoid saving them on um, an encrypted message on your phone. The best practice is to just write them down on a physical piece of paper uh, or, or a piece of metal that cannot be damaged or destroyed from fire or water. And so now, obviously, I would never want to use these 12 words to create my wallet since I've shown them to the world. Nevertheless, I've written them down and we can proceed by clicking continue. Now, you'll be prompted to type in some of the recovery words to confirm that you've recorded them in the correct order. This will be the only time you're ever asked any information about your recovery words. From this point forward, no one should be asking for this. And then we're going to be prompted to add a password. This is optional and um, adding this additional password means that you must have both the 12 recovery words and the password to recover the wallet. So if you lose one of these, no one can help you recover your Bitcoin. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a super secret password and create a backup of it as well. And finally, you'll be prompted to select a coin join strategy. Coin join is a technique that Wasabi Wallet implements to improve your privacy. So we're, we're just going to go with the default setting and select continue. Now you can see that we've successfully created a wallet. So let's go ahead and click done. And then I'm prompted to type in my password so that I can open the wallet. Then I'll click open. And then a terms and conditions window will pop up. Uh, you can read more about the terms and conditions here. So I'm going to go ahead and click agree and then continue. All right, now we've successfully installed the software and we've created a wallet. So now we can begin interacting with the Bitcoin network. And that's all I have for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later.